Keys to you. What's going on, beautiful people? It's a beautiful night. And tonight I'm going to be talking about how we can accept, embrace the negative aspects of life and what may arise within our journey and how us accepting those things can benefit us and help us fulfill certain desires that we want to achieve or experience during this lifetime. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm not going to tell you that you will no longer feel pain or hurt or sadness. I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm. that's not why I'm here. We are here to experience. You know, we're here. We This may be a little esoteric, but we were sent here in these bodies with this energy that we have with these emotions for a purpose. So why wish away what we were sent here to experience? Emotions are a beautiful thing. And with certain emotions, we're able to decide what we don't want no longer in our life or what we do want more into our life. So resenting certain emotions or not wanting to ever feel certain ways is understandable but they're also very very important in our growth and development as beings when we are thankful for the emotions that arise in our life whether it's from a situation or a person or it's something negative or positive whenever we accept it and we look at the brighter side of it we look at things as happening for us for our development and our growth instead of happening to us, we're able to take a step back and not be the victim of our emotions anymore. We're able to be the observer. So we can figure out why we feel a certain way toward an emotion or a person or a situation and how we can use that situation to help us grow. Figure out the lesson within it, the purpose within it, so that we can take that and use it in our future. Without the lows, the low vibrations that we may experience, we may never be able to reach the heights that we desire. Without the darkness, without the dark, you know, outside, we wouldn't be able to see the stars in the sky. And the more dark it gets, the lighter the stars shine. And whenever we no longer allow ourselves to be the sufferer of our own emotions, we will no longer be in those emotions and those feelings for so long anymore. We won't let them drag us through life. We'll be able to confront them, see it for what it is, take from it what we want, and continue on with our life with a brighter mindset and experience on our back so that maybe then we can relate to certain people who may have been in the same situations. We can help other people out because we can get on their level. We can we can relate, we can talk about things. We can be like, you know what? I felt that same way and this is what helped me. You know, we can be that person that helps other people because of our experience, because of the life that we lived. If we chose to never have low vibrations or bad experiences in life, how would we ever be able to continue to be strong, not just for ourselves, but for other people, for our family, for our friends, for our neighbors? So the emotions that you're feeling, whether they're good, bad, terrible, accept them and embrace them and find the purpose in the positive aspects of the situations instead of dwelling on why me or being the sufferer of your own choices and your own you know, emotions that you feel. We can choose to be offended or happy or sad depending on a situation that may happen or depending on what somebody says to us or does to us. We have a decision to choose how we react. So the next time that a negative situation or a low vibrational situation happens in your life, take a step back and observe yourself 
Ask yourself why you feel this way and how you can use the situation for your highest benefit. How you can learn from the situation and how you can grow. The negative things that happen in our life, you can look at it as it's just showing us what we don't really want in our future. Without the negative things happening to us, how would we ever know how to handle certain situations in the future whenever we're, we're confronted with something that may be worse? We'll be able to go back and be like, you know what, I've been here before, I've felt these emotions, and I know how to deal with this. I know how to deal with this situation. I know how to deal with this person, and I know how to get out of this and be a stronger person instead. We also have the decision to allow a certain situation to bring us down and become depressed and sit in those emotions for days and weeks and years and deteriorate our bodies and our mental health because of decisions we choose to make and emotions we choose to stick and hold on to. So I just wanted to come on here real quick because I was having a conversation with somebody. We had a really good conversation and we were really just enthusiastic about the low vibrations that happen and how without the low vibrations, we wouldn't really know how to handle bigger situations that might arise in our future and how we were just, you know, just embracing our mistakes, embracing the lessons that we've been through and learned and gained experience and knowledge and confidence in. So, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is just a little short, a little short, little, you know, video for us on this beautiful night. I don't think I ever did a video at night, but I was really just feeling the energy. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Remember, if there's anything that's negative or low vibrational happening in your life right now, just try to confront it in a positive manner. Think about the most beneficial thing that can come from it. Don't dwell, don't beat yourself up. There's enough things going on outside of ourselves in the world that can cause us sadness and, you know, low self-esteem. The last thing we need is to be beating ourselves up and being our worst enemy. We can be our friend, our partner, our lover, our own. We can choose to create happiness within us or we can choose to create sadness and destruction within us. We have the choice. We are creators, we are powerful. We are gods and goddesses. Goddesses. <laughs> anyway, man, I love you guys. Thank you guys for being a part of my YouTube channel. More videos will be coming. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.